<clears throat> Try to get that out the way before I even start. So we out here early this morning, y'all. And um, I came out and I got two. Let's see if I can try to show y'all. Y'all know this camera. This camera, it's, 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 it's going to meet its demise. But um, y'all see that I got a female there. And I know it's real furry. It's hard to tell. But I got a female there. So I just got through hand pollinating. I had a lot of male flowers. You see all them petals on the ground. Um, the bees might have got it before I had a chance to get out here. But I wanted to make sure I pollinated those. Um, and I pollinated them quite a bit because I had quite a few male flowers. But that's not what I wanted to uh, come out here and uh, deal with this morning. Or rather, show y'all. I... I'm about to harvest a bunch of peppers so I can send these things off. Uh, do I have a... Y'all know I'm pitiful. Real pitiful. I ain't got no bucket or nothing. Let me, let me come back here and get this step for me to sit down because I'm not finna stoop down and uh harvest all these peppers. I'm going Yes sir, where are you coming from? You was out on a date. But you don't have any testes, so what kind of date was you on? Yes, all of my animals are spayed and neutered. Please don't be an irresponsible pet owner. Um, because it's enough cats out here getting killed every day. Who did you go on a date, Chris? Chrissy? So you just being belligerent. Okay. I'll see how we doing this morning. Alrighty. So anyhow, I am cutting these peppers and I would have dirt all on this but that's part of being in a garden dirt you get over it um I generally uh will just pull these but y'all know I have an issue to where when I pull stuff I fool around and cut the whole plant down uh, so, so I am going to try my best to, um, be as careful as I can. But I got a ton of peppers on here, y'all. And I know they just fall, and I'm going to, um... I'm going to pick them up after I do all this harvest. I got them going everywhere now. They're going all over the bottom, bottom of there. Come here to me. You are going to get harvested. I don't care. 
uh, I'm gonna see, can I get some of these? I can get some of them with my hand. Something, something got to that. This is faster. See, this this is why I don't be using, y'all be with them nipples and pronos and sometimes the tools you was born with is just faster. I'm getting a lot of the ones I already uh, cut off that fell down in here. I see you. And keep in mind, y'all, this is a pepper that I overwintered. If you've never tried, this is my first year ever overwintering a pepper, and I actually did it by accident. It wasn't my intention to overwinter this pepper when the... Um, when the pepper got hit by a little bit of a frost, I um, I, I just kind of left it in here and was like, oh, I'll pull it out, you know, later. Well, I never pulled it out. And when the spring came, the um, roots came back. And I had seen other people do it, but the people I had seen do it were like in Arizona or like desert climates or desert-ish climates. Um, I had not seen anyone in, in my climate um, necessarily do it. Now, I do realize there are some people in my climate that overwinter peppers. But most of the time I see them put their peppers in a greenhouse, which is nothing wrong with that. But what I'm saying is I didn't put mine in a greenhouse or nothing. I just, um, it just kind of, you know, turned out like this, um, that I just left the plant. And, uh, it started growing back in the spring and I was like, Oh, wow. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you ain't never overwintered a pepper, if you can, you know, try to. Um, because uh, there's a bug in there. I don't know what kind of bug that is. but Because um, I assure you that you will have peppers faster than you've ever had them before. Because the root structure is already there. You understand? So, when the root structure is already there, your peppers don't have to start from scratch. They already have the root structure, so they're, they're going to branch out. And your plant's going to grow really fast. They'll grow the foliage and whatnot. And it'll start... Um, putting on blooms and uh, putting on blooms and peppers really pretty quickly. I would assume that this pepper plant is probably still um, putting on roots. You can see this is all the peppers I got off. There are no more that are ripe. I'm going to wash these really quickly and dry them and um, you know he, he's never here until I use something he never gets on things until I've been on them he never it's like come on give me a break um, that one looks suspect I had two on here that looked suspect like something got to them. But what I'll do is collect seeds from those. Uh, and if you're wondering what these are Criola Sella, if I did not say so in this video already. If you're wondering 
uh, what they taste like. Um, I did do a taste test video last season. Um, I think the title of it is I'm Dying Something Something Something. I'll put a card in here so you can click on and watch that video. Um, but yeah, I did a uh, taste test on these and these have, I, I really like the way they taste. That's my harvest, y'all. That's what I'm going to wash off and send off. But yeah, they kind of have a sweet, fruity taste. This is kind of like the biggest size you're going to get on them. And I'll be honest, it's my second year. Um, I got a lot of peppers out of this plant last year. I got a lot of peppers. But these are bigger this year a little bit. Most of the ones I got last year were about that size. But yeah, they get about two inches at the biggest and maybe like a half an inch at the widest part. They kind of have a kind of a sweet fruity flavor but they're hot so the more the seeds and the um the more the seeds and the uh, pith that you get the hotter it is um so i'm gonna send these off and um the the plant still has green peppers you can't eat them green they're probably less hot when they're green but if you notice most of these are kind of the bigger size i don't have a lot of the smaller size, the smaller size is more like one inch, more like those. Most of these are kind of bigger. Something kind of got to the top of that one. I might take that one out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that pepper harvest. My pepper still has blooms and it's still, you know, making peppers. Uh, that one don't look too hot, but um, but yeah, it still got green peppers on it, so. Yep, just want to show y'all that right quick. And uh, my mulberry still ain't making mulberries, but it's tall as me. Uh, so I'm going to have to give. I'm going to need to see some fruit on you. Otherwise, you getting... I'm going to throw you out, like they say. I'm going to throw the baby out with the bath water. I'm throwing the bath water, the baby, everything on. Because I'm going to need some food. Cause they talking about mulberries start making fruit fast. Uh, these things big. So is that one. Starting to look like trees. I'm going to need some fruit need some fruit. Alright, so until next time, see you guys later.